Back to you. Jen, thank you. Joined now by WDSU medical editor, Dr. Corey Abear. I want to continue this conversation on schools. You used to be the chief medical officer for NOLA Public Schools. Is this the right decision, especially with a spike in cases? Well, what we're seeing are these miscellaneous rumbling, rumblings that we are having an increase in cases in children. Now, this is purely anecdotal at this time. However, we are seeing cases, not a, a huge spike, but an increase in cases in some states around the country. Now, is this, uh, does this mean that it's because the new strain? We're not sure quite yet, but we always have to remember that Going to school, the study show, University of Mississippi did a study along with the CDC. Going to school is actually safer because more children get infected by family members at their homes that are not doing what they're supposed to do. So you kind of have a double edged sword here. But to err on the side of caution, I think it's important for us to get the kids back home let everybody calm down, get all their pods set up. And if you notice today that that they, we're going to go back on the 21st, that's about 14 or 15 days after today, which means we got a good time to get our pods together for 14 days and then go back to school. All right, you saw Morgan's report at the top of this newscast. Pharmacies got the vaccine. It's a blessing and a curse. There were long lines. It's good they got it, but it was a mad dash there today. This, th this is a, a mild, mild disaster. And, and the reason why I say that is because we have never had a real national program on getting this stuff done. We're, we're having failures at every level, and what we have to do is get a unified system so that we can deliver this. You can't just leave it to the states, make the vaccine, and say, okay, states, just do it, because the states have already a strapped budget for just the regular things they have to do, not including now having to, to have a freezer that has to keep a vaccine for 90 degrees below zero. So, so this, is, this is something that we have to have some patience because we want the vaccine. We have to have some patience, but folks just just know it's going to take a little while and then just keep calling. You'll get on the list and then you will get the vaccine. But this has been a, a, a major disappointment. All right. Much more with Dr. Abair coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. All right. Shifting gears now.